YouTube. Um, I am making my, let's see, 9 and 10 week pregnancy video. I didn't make one for week 9 and now I'm at the end of week 10. I'm actually 11 weeks now, so go ahead and make 9 and 10 weeks um, pregnancy video update. So, um, 9 and 10 weeks, I not a whole lot really changed. I may, I got sicker. I think that I've been sicker 9 and 10 weeks um, than I have been previously. I've been really nauseous. I wake up in the morning and I'm nauseous and I have been throwing up in the mornings. And when I throw up, it's normally yellow stomach acid, which is really, really gross. Ow. And it's horrible. And Rylan thinks it's hilarious when I throw up, which doesn't make it easy. He thinks it's so funny when I throw up. So that doesn't make it easy on me. But most of the day I feel nauseous and I feel really bad because I can't give Rylan a whole lot of, you know, attention. I mean, I give him attention, of course, but I can't. I just sit down in the chair or something while I play with him because I'm so... Rylan, please don't pull my hair. That hurts. Because I'm so tired and I'm so sick. And... So it's really hard for me to really play with Rylan in the mornings when he's like most energetic and wants to play and I feel really bad about that. Um, but yeah, my energy level is like horrible and you know I've been working at night and that is not helping me any, it's making it worse. Um, I have been trying to force myself to eat all day long but that has been hard too. I've been really, really dizzy a lot and I think that I haven't been drinking um, enough fluids because I notice that when I'm nursing Rylan or after I nurse him, if I haven't drank a lot or ate something, then I feel really, really weak and really dizzy. So that sucks. And so I've been trying to up my water intake and my <laughs> food intake, which is really hard when you feel like crap. But um, hopefully within the next few weeks I'll start to feel better. I, um, I, cravings, I haven't really been craving a whole lot these past couple weeks, nothing new. I, I was craving a bunch of junk food, but now junk food and greasy food is kind of making me feel sick. So I've been really trying to eat healthy. I've been craving macaroni and cheese, I guess that's a craving. I've been eating that, and I've been making pasta, I've been really craving pasta, and like Alfredo sauce, and stuff like that. Um... I have eaten meat a few times, um, which is kind of hard for me. I don't want to eat meat, but I have eaten it. I've wanted it, and I've eaten it, and, you know, I'm okay with it. But I don't want to continue to eat a whole bunch of meat, and I definitely don't want to eat, like, fast food meat or anything. Um, <laughs> but I um, have eaten a couple, you know, things of meat, which I'm not proud of. Um, what other cravings? I, I really crave french fries a lot and that sucks. That's not healthy. I try to make, um, my phone's ringing. Sorry. I try to make, um, homemade french fries as often as I can so they're not too unhealthy. Um, but yeah, french fries are definitely a big weakness of mine. I really want like waffle fries and curly fries. Those are probably even worse. <laughs> um, other cravings, I've been craving orange juice a lot, which is full of sugar, so that's not good. So I'm trying to limit that, but I really crave orange juice and peanut butter and cheese. So I've been eating lots of peanut butter and cheese. I eat peanut butter and jelly with um, cheese slices. <laughs> and sharp cheese, really sharp cheese. The sharper the better. Um, I don't know. I guess that's really it for cravings. Really, really tired. I have to take a nap with Rylan every day, and that really helps. Whenever I wake up from my nap and eat something, I feel a whole lot better. And that helps me get through the rest of the day. Um, but then I take a nap, you know. I take a two-hour nap with Rylan, and then it, when it's bedtime, you know, I put Rylan to bed, and then I'm like wide awake. Oh, naked Rylan. I'm wide awake, and I can't go to sleep till like 10 o'clock at night, which sucks. I should be going to bed with Rylan every night, but it's like, you know, he goes to bed and then I'm like, oh, I can finally breathe, you know, and he can pick up the house a little bit and go tend to the garden a little bit and then sit and, you know, watch Netflix or something by myself and relax. So then I don't get into bed until like 10, but I guess, you know, having that nap really helps. Whenever I don't get a nap, I do go to bed early, so... 
Yeah, um, nursing, like I said, it's been making me feel kind of weak to nurse Rylan, and he's been wanting to nurse a whole lot. And I feel bad because they keep having to kind of like distract him when he asks a whole bunch, because like he'll ask, you know, really frequently. And I keep having to like distract him from it and um, be like, oh, let's go get a snack, or oh, let's go do this, or let's play, you know? So he'll forget about it, but I, you know, I guess if I keep drinking a lot of water and eating some snacks, then it'll be okay. Um, I don't feel like crampy or anything when I nurse. I just um, feel tired and weak and like I'm, you know, not getting enough water, I guess that's what it is. So I think drinking water will help that. Um, there's still milk there. So, I mean, I squeeze some out. There's still milk. So he's still getting milk. Um, I don't know. I'm anticipating it to dry up. I don't know if it will or what. So if you have any experiences with nursing during pregnancy, let me know. Um, I have been searching and searching and searching for a midwife that can work with me in my situation and I may have found one and the birth center that this midwife is at is an hour away but she um, will do home births so I might have to sacrifice driving an hour away um, in order to have a home birth but she did say that she's not sure you know if it comes down to it, you know, the day I'm in labor, if there's, you know, births going on at the birth center or if something else is going on like that, then she won't be able to come to the home birth and they would ask me to come in. And I told her, well, in that case, um, I'm going to stay home and have a home birth by myself. And she was like, you know, well, okay, I guess we'll see. So I'm going to go into the birth center and take a tour and meet her and hopefully talk this out and maybe have a home birth, you know, with the midwife. I was planning to go unassisted and I still am if that's the case, but um, having a midwife would really put, you know, my boyfriend, his mind at ease. You know, I'm all for unassisted, but it would really make him feel better, I think, so. And, you know, it's nice, it would be nice to have a midwife there just in case, you know, I needed, you know, that support or whatever, so. Um, working on that. Um, no sonograms yet or anything like that, which is driving me crazy. I really want to hear or see this baby. And it's driving me crazy. I did buy, let me show you. I bought um, a fetal Doppler. I got this one. It's the Sonalign um, fetal Doppler. And I'm not able to find the heartbeat yet. And I tried at 10 weeks, um, 4 days, so maybe in a few more weeks um, I'll be able to hear it. But for now, I cannot hear the heartbeat yet, which makes me kind of sad, but then you know, the baby is like this big, so I understand if I can't find it yet. Um, I guess something else new is going on. My boobs are getting bigger. My belly is growing. Um, I haven't really gained much weight. I think I've gained a total of three pounds, um, but yeah, that's it. And... I don't know, I guess that's really all for 9 and 10 weeks that's been going on. Um, I guess I'll show you my belly. I don't know if I can't show you it here. It's too low. So let me take you. Let me take you somewhere where I can show it. Rylan, he's got dirty diaper pail. Please don't play with the dirty diapers. So let me show you my, well this is um, actually 11 weeks today. So this is 11 weeks belly. Um, here it is. <laughs> Rylan loves the belly. Come on! You wanna kiss it? Oh, sweet. Yeah, that's my belly. Ooh. So, yeah. That is my 11 weeks now belly. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, anything, I'd love to hear it. So leave them in the below. And I'll talk to you for 11 weeks. Hopefully I'll get it up before 12 weeks has gone by as well. So I guess I'll talk to you then. Bye.